Broke rides ain't ground, folks. You only got one more day until Friday. Let's make it a good one, shall we? Guys, I'm on the way to a brand new customer. This is a no-heat call that just came in. Um, I don't have much information. She just said that the unit stopped working yesterday. Guys, I'm on the way there right now. Let's go take a look and let's see what's going on. I'll see y'all when I get there. Turn my light on here. So this looks to be just a Coleman ninety percent furnace. Holy shit! That's not good. Hold on, guys. Let me open up the door. All right, guys, we got our filter out. And look at this. That is three red. And three red means our pressure switch is not closing. All right, let me get let me get my meter and let me see if power is getting to this inducer. I'll be right back. All right. Now we wait for this thing to call. And this inducer motor does feel burning hot. There's a nest thermostat upstairs. Let me go upstairs and make sure it's calling. I'll be back. All right. Thermostat's calling. That's all three blinks. This inducer motor is cooked. All right, guys. Let me call this in, I'll be back. All right guys, I am on the way to the supply house. I gotta get the new inducer assembly and I spoke with a customer. I think they they just moved in and that's the reason for that filter. They actually didn't even know that they had a, <laughs> they didn't know that they even had a filter down there guys. So this will be a great opportunity for me after I get this motor installed and I get everything up and going. This would be a good idea, like I said, for us to um, just educate them just on where the filter is, what size filter they need, and most importantly, um, how often they gotta replace the filter. So for sure, maintenance is definitely gonna be included with what we're doing today. And then moving forward, like I said, we can hopefully try to avoid this from happening again. But guys, I'm on the way to the supply aisle. Let me get this inducer motor assembly, and I'll see you guys when I get back. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. And we got our old motor out. And this is our new $300 beauty here. And like I said, this one was burning hot on arrival. I just confirmed inducer failure from the fact that I had 115 and it wasn't turning on. But this should be plug and play. And it looks like they gave us a new collar here, so. I don't have to use the old one. And let's see. All right, guys. Let me take this out, the packet, and let's get this going. I'll be right back. All right, guys. And we don't need these. What these are, these are restrictor rings. Now, guys, I believe this is for the York and uh, the York furnaces. But in the, in the nutshell, guys, this is for drainage. If the hole on my collection box was past a certain size, you will need a restrictor ring for allow for proper drainage. As stated here, if you have these model numbers, which I believe might be York you'll have to use a restrictor ring. But guys, the old one didn't have one, so I don't see a reason of putting a restrictor ring on the new one. And this is mono-y-mono, -mono, so yeah, guys. 
always read the instructions and you'll learn something new every single time. But yeah, I never had to use these restrictor rings. The only thing I had to do when necessary is replace the rubber gasket, the little flange around the housing, but this flange is still intact. So there's no need to reinvent the wheel here, but all right, guys, let's get to it and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, while I'm at it, I'm basically going to do a furnace tune-up, clean the sensor, and I got my new filter already down here, but alright guys, let me clean this furnace up a little bit before I put this new inducer in, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright guys, now it's time to rock the baby, we got our new inducer motor in, brand new filter. Now I'm testing everything to make sure it cycles on. There we go. And also, while I had the inducer assembly out, when I had more space, I cleaned that flame sensor and I cleaned all the debris that was inside the unit. And as you see, the igniter's blowing. There we have it. I gotta wait for my fan to turn on. And we are good money. And that is the sound of my blow motor turning on. And this customer got a, a few dogs upstairs. That explains the different shades of brown in this filter. <laughs> Guys, I don't know when the last time that filter got, got replaced. I'm curious as to how the AC ran over the summer. I know this AC unit had to freeze up. <laughs> but I'm glad this customer called when they did. So we got this, cu got this customer squared away. We got everything clean. And also, guys, moving forward, We'll shoot back out here in the spring and we'll make sure that the outside unit, this looks like a straight AC unit, we'll make sure that the outside unit is in good condition heading into the summer. But yeah guys, there you have it. No heat, found the induced motor locked up, also found a clogged filter, replaced the filter, replaced the inducer assembly, cleaned everything up and we're good to go. There you guys have it. Let me pack up and fill out the paperwork. I will see you guys on the next giddy up. I'll see you. Peace.